This is the notorious Shovel Nose Ray. And you can see where it gets its name with that distinguishing shovel shaped pointy snout there. But what an impressive creature. The mangrove environment plays an important role in the Shovel Nose Ray's life cycle. For young juveniles like this one, they spent a large portion of their life roaming these mangroves where there is an abundance of food and shelter. The place is like a nursery before they venture out into the deep ocean where they can grow to an astonishing two and a half metres and weigh up to 150 kilos. Now that is a shovel nose ray I'm probably not going to catch by hand. To catch small fish and crustaceans, you have to be fast. And the shovel nose ray is deceptively quick. And they're able to propel themselves through the water with this strong muscular tail with these large caudal and dorsal fins that paddle them through the water. The way I'm holding this little shovel nose ray allows it to breathe as its gills and mouth are located on its underside. And you can see them located on the underside of its shovel here. But when the shovel nose ray is hunting and it's got its head buried within that muddy substrate, it's going to have those gills placed in all that dirty water. So instead, right behind their eyes, they have these two structures known as spiracles. And this allows it to have its head pressed into the sand, whilst these spiracles will draw in clean, oxygenated water, while they'll pass that down through their gills, allowing it to sit in that muddy substrate and breathe at the same time. 